So this is the automatic level and uh, there's lots of different versions but they all have the same basic components. So what I want to show you today is the basic parts of an automatic level. So here we go. So the base part is referred to as the leveling head. It's um, made up of about four different parts. So the bit at the bottom is called the trivet and this lets us connect to the tripod via the little screw hole in the middle here. So the screw that's in the uh, in the tripod screws up into the trivet and locks the automatic level onto the tripod. We then have our foot screws and these are the parts that level the uh, automatic level. So we get nice accurate readings and there's three of these. And then we have the tribash. This is just the bulk of the uh, the level which also pivots around and you can see there there's a protractor so we can actually measure angles if we want to uh, so that's that part of the automatic level we then go on to the, the top half up here we have a mirror with a little prism which lets us see down onto our bullseye bubble or bullseye level so that's just like a little spirit level, which helps us get the uh, the automatic level, obviously level. Back here we have the eyepiece where we look into the instrument, and this last the last little uh, ring on the end of it also has a little focus knob that helps us focus the crosshairs which are inside the level. I'll show you that in a minute. So yeah, a focusing knob there and the eyepiece go around. We've got our main optics focus, so we can focus our image there, the large knob. And down here we have a tangent screw, so when we move that, it slowly moves the the main body or the tribash around, so we can actually uh, traverse uh, small angles. On top of the instrument we have a set of open sights, so we can roughly line up with our staff or whatever we're trying to take a reading of before we look through the uh, through the eyepiece. When we look into the eyepiece you're going to see a couple of things. The Obviously the cross in the middle is what we refer to as our crosshairs and this middle line is where we take our main readings from and we also have our stadia lines. One at the top, one at the bottom and these are used for measuring distance. So that's it. They're the parts of an automatic level.